Welcome to the Adaraj video. The aim of this tape is to give you a taste of what this exciting and innovative program can do by recreating the title sequence you're seeing now. The Adaraj multi-effect system offers an infinite number of options for the generation of video effects as used in television. The main feature of Adaraj is the generation of high-grade fade-ins, cross-fades and dissolves between computer graphics or images and as if by magic between computer graphics and a running video signal which requires the use of a genlock. Adaraj provides the opportunity to play back calculated computer animations at the industry standard rate of 50 frames a second. This has been made possible by the SSA format a completely new development in animation. Now you can achieve professional results on even a low-end Amiga results which previously were only possible to generate using incredibly expensive hardware. So let's join Richard Lockton, a professional Amiga user to introduce us to this exciting software package from ProDAT. Starting the program is easy once you have it correctly installed on your hard drive. Simply locate the Adarage drawer and open it. Then double click on the Adarage program icon. The Adarage main screen appears. Adarage Video Effects software for the Commodore Amiga lets you create professional sequences for use with video or as displays in their own right. Let's take a quick tour of the main Adarage screen. We'll assume that you have installed and run Adarage as detailed in the manual. These are the effects buttons. The logo diamond lines, splinters effect, fire effect, wild diamond, spin effect, pixelize or mosaic effect, peel effect, lines effect, pieces effect, scroll effect, window, wave, wind effect, wobble, and the roller effect. We'll quickly demonstrate each of these effects with a simple reference pattern. Remember that each of the effects are further divided into degrees of fineness and other variables. These you're about to see are just some of the hundreds of effects available in Adorant. Logo Diamond, Lines, Splinters Effect, Fire Effect, Wild Diamond, Spin, the Pixelize or Mosaic Effect, the Peel Effect, Lines Effect, Pieces, Scroll, Window, Wave, the Wind Effect, Wobble, and the roller effect. We won't detail all the controls on the main screen. These are covered in full in the manual. I'll just explain the ones we'll be using during this tape. The direction button, 
switches between in and out to set the direction of the effect. The animation control button gives access to the play and file buttons used for viewing and saving the animation. The option panel allows you to close down Workbench for memory saving, toggle between test and live for previewing effects before recording them, and the background button allows you the option of specifying the background screen used in the animation. At the beginning of this video, you saw a title sequence which was created in Adarage from elements created in D-Paint. We are going to demonstrate how to make a sequence such as this from a series of pre-stored files, in this case, D-Paint screens. It's also possible to use files from other applications. These are detailed in the manual. From these 12 basic screens, we'll build up the title sequence. I'll select background to enable me to use elements from the previous image when creating a new effect. This will become clearer as the video progresses. We'll check that the direction is set to an in effect and select the roller effect. A requester appears. We'll choose the curl up A button. Now we choose an image or screen to animate by hitting the file select button. A file requester appears from which we can choose the image. I've loaded all the images I want to use into RAM. This gives me extra speed, but you can load images from floppy or hard disk also. I choose the file called screen A. Double click on it. The image appears, and by clicking with the left mouse button, a further requester appears asking what background image I want to use. In this first instance, I have no previous image I want to use. I select empty. Now Adarage gives me the option to crop or position the image further. I choose to crop the image with the mouse and an outline box appears over the image. I can now position this box and resize it to cover only the parts of the screen which I want to appear in the animation effect. When I have positioned the box exactly, I can check the position by holding down the right mouse button to see the box more clearly. Then, by clicking on the top left hand corner of the box, my edited selection is made. Since I am sure I have correctly selected the image I wish to use, I click on Use Previous Values. This is the position I have just set. Adaraj asks me if I want to record the image as an animation or simply as a test. I choose to record. The animation is now calculated. Depending on the effect used, this can take a few seconds or a few minutes for the Amiga to perform. 
Then by choosing Animation Control on the main screen and selecting Play, I can view the animation in real time. The animation is run by clicking the left mouse button. Now I'll add the next element of the animation. I'll choose the wobble effect and in the helix column set the parameters. The rotation angle 360, the tilt angle 70, the extension 200, the dimination 20, depth zero. Now I'll select fine rendition. Choose image repeat from the foreground image requester and the screen A reappears. I click the left mouse button and the background image requester appears. I choose from animation, last image, which is the last frame from the previous effect. Now I'll crop out the section of the image I want to use. And I'm cropping, this time, the center circle of the screen. I can then define the center of the calculation I'll choose to use the mouse and I position the crosshairs in the center of the image Now I'll recall the animation. Here is the result combined with the first section of the animation. The next effect I'll use is the wave effect. I'm choosing right, fine, and selecting the foreground image. Once again, it's an image repeat as it's still the same frame as we used in the first section of the animation. The screen appears the requester appears to ask me for the background image and I choose from animation. Once again the last image there it is now I crop with the mouse once more the section of the new image I want to use. Here is the animation being calculated. And here is the result.
The next effect I'll use is the peel or flip effect. I'm going to change the direction of the effect to an out effect. This will remove the previous last frame of the animation to reveal a completely new screen. I'm choosing right medium. And the foreground image from the animation. The new image called Screen B There is to be no cropping of the image as I want the entire screen to peel away to reveal the new screen. The Amiga calculates away and produces the animation for me. Now the next effect, the roller effect once more. But first I'll change the direction back to an in effect. Select roller and click with the left mouse button on parameter to set the effect. Start radius 90 End radius 20 X move 10 Y move 20 Contortion 100 And relation 70 Finally, the roller right button is selected. Now the file is selected for the foreground image, screen C. The background image is selected as the last frame from the preceding animation. The full image area of the new screen is now selected and the position as previous values. Finally, I record the animation. I'll repeat the same effect with the next screen, which names our cameraman on this video project. There's no need to set the parameters for the roller effect this time, as they will have remained the same. The file is selected, screen D. The background image once again is the last frame. The full image is to be used.
and recall the animation. And bring in another new screen. The first step is to choose an effect to send the screen out on. So I choose Out Effect. Roller. Roller left. Full screen for the image and no background image. The next effect will be an in effect, so I choose in, wobble, and under the helix column, enter the parameters. Rotation angle 360, tilt angle 70, extension 50, diminution 0, and depth 20. I'll choose very fine for the resolution and choose my next file screen E. The background is once again empty. I'm choosing the area on which the effect will operate by using the cropping box. The centre of the image chosen by placing the crosshairs is where the center of the effect will operate. I'll use the lines effect to bring in some additional elements. I'm going to keep the ProDad logo as the background image and overlay the graphic cropped from another screen. I check that an in effect is selected, select lines effect, choose horizontal wedge, Now I'll choose my next file, screen F. The background image is from the last frame of the preceding animation. I'll crop the section of the image I want to use and record the animation.
alternative version of the last screen, I use the roller left-right effect. First, I'll set the parameters by first hitting the power button. And then entering the values at the prompt. Start radius 90. End radius 20. X move 10. Y move 20. Torsion 100 and Relation 70. I'll select my next screen, Screen G. And crop the active image to size with the box. Now I'll take out that section using the same effect to reveal our original ProDAD screen. I select Out Effect, Roller, Roller Left Right, the foreground image is from the animation, The background image is the original ProDAD screen, screen E. The boxes are rolled in and out again. Now I'll use a slightly different lines effect once again with a further alternative screen. I select in effect, lines effect, fine comb horizontal, and the foreground image at screen F. The background image is once again taken from the animation's last frame. continue. I'm selecting out effect, wobble, and setting the parameters in the A plane column. Rotation angle 720, tilt angle 70, moving depth 360, and very fine rendition. The foreground image is taken from the animation.
the background image is empty. The image area to be affected by the effect is cropped. The centre of the image is chosen with the mouse and I'll position it to the centre of the graphic. And the animation is recorded. It's also possible to bring in a solid screen of colour with Adorage. Remember, we currently have an empty screen with no background image, and so I'll bring in this new screen with an effect we haven't yet used. I choose In Effect, Spin Effect, Triple Fan, The file selected is screen H. The background is empty. The full screen is to be used for the effect. And the centre of the screen is used as the centre of the effect. I record the animation. Now text will be added to the plain screen using the scroll effect. I select in effect, scroll effect, I'm setting the spring value to 20. And choosing a right up F setting. Select the new file, screen I, The background image is from the animation. I'll crop the section of the new screen and record the animation. Let's take a look at our complete animation so far and play it through a couple of times to see how it's progressing.
The spring setting I made on the last effect affects the amount of rebound the image makes when it appears on the screen. Next, I'll introduce another plane screen using the blinds effect. I choose in effect, blinds effect, and choose two horizontal blinds. Choose the file, screen J. background image is the last frame of the animation. The full image is selected for the effect. The animation is recorded. Now a new image with the same background colour will be loaded. I select In Effect, Splinters Effect, in the large spread column I click on Fine. Select the foreground image screen K. The background image is from the animation. The new image area is cropped. The centre of the image is used as the centre of the effect. I choose to use the foreground palette. Finally, the animation is calculated. Now the blinds effect is used again. Select in effect, blinds effect, five vertical. The image is loaded, screen L. The background is from the animation. The full image is selected for the effect, and the previous position is used again. The animation is now recorded. I'll bring in another section of a new screen now, screen M. I'm still using the in effect. This time the wave effect is chosen. In the right column I click on special. And 
choose my file. The next feature of our animation will use the fire effect. I'm changing the effect direction to an out effect. Selecting the fire button and choosing ultra in the large spread column. The foreground image is from the animation's last frame. background image is the plain red screen called screen L. I use the previous values for the cropping and the center of the effect. Finally the animation is calculated. The spin effect is now used to remove this final screen. I choose the effect. We're already set to record an out effect. Choose fan. The foreground image is taken from the animation. The background image is selected as empty. and the full image is used for the animation. And that has recreated the title sequence used at the start of this video. As you will have gathered along the way, we could have created a completely different set of effects using the same screens. The only limit on Adaraja's potential is your own imagination. The animation we've just made was recorded using SSA, Super Smooth Animation, which is new to Adaraj. It gives several advantages over the more usual IFF animations as produced by D-Paint, for example. One major advantage is the memory saving features of the SSA format. Another is the exceptionally smooth playback quality. In an IFF animation with high resolution and color selection, the playback will often buck around and become jerky. There's no sign of this with SSA. However, that said, there are times when you may well want to create an animation in D-Paint, for example, and still have it play smoothly. ProDad have developed a new program called Clarissa, which overcomes this problem. The IFF single frame animation is loaded into Clarissa and it becomes smooth and free from bucks and jerks. There are also many other features in Clarissa. If you want really smooth animations every time, then Clarissa from Prodad is the program for you. Alternatively, 
you may wish to record animations in Adarage that will play back in other applications. To switch Adarage 2.0 from recording in SSA to IFF format, simply access the Adu Prefs button on the main screen and toggle the SSA bar to read IFF. Now you can record the animation in the usual way and save it as an IFF animation. Here is the BVG logo playing in Adarage in SSA. Super smooth animation. I've duplicated exactly the same effects but saved the animation as an IFF animation. Now I'll start up D-Paint and load the anim you just saw in Adarage Here it is loading frame by frame as an IFF animation. D-Paint is unable to use the SSA format, so this is the only way you can get animations created in Adarage to play in D-Paint. So here is that animation playing in D-Paint. As you can see, a lot of the smoothness has gone. But now you have the animation in D-Paint, you can make additions and changes to it in the usual way.
hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to Adarage. The advantages of using Adarage with its super smooth animation to produce professional effects should now be clear to you. Using Adarage ensures a considerably higher degree of flexibility in the realization of animations of truly broadcastable quality. Adarage can be run on systems with Kickstart 1.2 and above. The ECS resolutions are supported from Kickstart 2X. And systems with Kickstart 3X and above, which also enable the use of the AGA modes, which can be used in Adarage. Take a giant step up from standard transitions and start creating professional digital effects with Adarage today. Thank you.